it got kind of frustrating to keep watching it, and it, you just kind of question like, why when we just do, switch it up? But I mean, I guess because we ain't practicing. So, but now that you go out there and you see people making more plays on quick, short stuff, it's like you more you more like confident in the game plan. You know that the coaches know exactly what they're doing. A lot speaking, of time. Right speaking of aggression, I saw some video that made it look like you guys did some MMA training or Krav Maga or something like that this off season. Is that the case? <laughs> Uh, the off-season training is definitely always tough. I mean, it's, it prepares you well for the season. It makes you have make decisions, and it's basically just training you for when that when that day comes and you have them facing like a hard opponent or something like that. You have to mentally be able to like get through it. So it basically, just teaches mentally be mentally tough. But the, the when you were putting on the gloves and being on dummies, <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> that's just that's yeah, coach mixed thing. It's called the fourth quarter program. Basically, it's four stations. It tires you out, gets you real tired but you still got to keep going and finish all the four stations. So basically just get your body tired. It's a good workout, actually. I actually enjoyed it. A lot of teams, especially in the NFL, are going to kind of interchangeable safeties. How big a difference is there in your system between strong safety and free safety? Um, well, here, I mean, it's, they're kind of like the same thing. I think the free safety is just more, it's a little more easier than the strong because the strong got to make all those adjustments and stuff like that. But they basically play the same roles. Is champ getting to be a grind? Damn, camp is always a grind. Camp is always a grind. I mean, especially we on practice 17. You know, bodies is definitely a little tired, but you know what? You just got to push through it and get it done, man. You looking forward to when you check out of the hotel and get into your own place and just kind of not have to ride a bus every day? <laughs> I think everybody's looking forward to that, but you know. The thing about it is I get up every day and I just, I love to play football. I mean, this is what I love to do. I couldn't see myself doing nothing other than this. So that's just my motivation. I mean, the sun is shining. I get to play with the players that I love, that I grew to love. So, I mean, we all going after the same goals this year. So it's just fun to me. Just make it as fun as possible. I'm assuming after all of spring practice and 17 practices in the preseason, you have a pretty good read on Chris Ash and what kind of mm -hmm. guy he is. If What is he like as a coach? <laughs> Uh, Coach, <laughs> Coach Az is a, I mean, he's a very funny person, like when you get to talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, but I, he's very smart, he definitely knows things, like he studies tendencies and stuff like that, and he'll give me a little nugget, and at first, you know, I was a little hesitant on it to see, because I didn't know if he was like, knew exactly what he was talking about, but as camps went on, he gave me a bunch of nuggets, it allowed me to play even more faster, so I'm starting to make more plays that I normally wouldn't make, so I definitely would say that he's definitely up my game more than what I was. The people who question, you know, you lost CJ lost Chris, even though he didn't play much. Um, people who question how good are these safeties going to be this year, what do you say to them? I say, y'all, it, it'll be shocking. It'll be shocking. I mean, those two, man, some days I wish that, some days I just wish that they would come back, you know. But I know that they they going on to the next level and doing stuff like that. But just learning from them has helped me. I mean, the stuff that I've taken from watching them play, has really upped my game and it helps me to lead the people that wasn't here, you know, like the freshmen stuff like that. So, I mean, just just the ground. Man. And this year's safeties, what's the what's the potential? Oh, we're doing good right now. I mean, I mean, I I'm confident if it's me and Vaughn, if it's me and Vaughn, me and Cam, or Eric and Cam, whoever it is out of safety, I'm confident in anybody because everybody goes out there and they make plays and they show that they have that big playmaking ability.